expenses, which are business deductions, were taxed on the net income. Normally, if you're a W-2 employee, you don't have any expenses because the idea is that the employer is paying for the expenses, therefore you just have the W-2 income. The Schedule A, on the other hand, is full of a bunch of items that don't correspond to the standard deductions you would think natural to an income tax system if it was just designed to collect money to protect us with the military and whatnot and not to nudge us and manipulate us in all other kinds of way because all the stuff on the itemized deductions on the Schedule A or many of them are personal types of deductions which we get to deduct for one reason uh, or another which could add to some complications in terms of what's going to be the qualifying factor that allows us to take the deduction and when the deductions on the Schedule A that were personal in nature but now deductible also kind of collide with the natural types of deductions such as business deductions how are we going to deal with basically splitting the capacity to deduct between those per two particular areas in a way that we don't basically double dip is the general idea now when you hear interest paid